Pock is held every year and Pock bestows on Kilauglan a distinction denied to any other town in Ireland or indeed to any town in the world. Many people claim that it is a pagan festival, but then again, there is no really a strict or definite idea of the origin of Pock Fair. Some say it was only since 1613 when James I granted to the town landlord, Jenkin Conway, a patent or a permission to hold a fair in that year. Well, no, if it started that year, it'd still be an old fair. But there was very little early documentation. It was oral traditions. There's something about goats saving the town from Cromwell, but then again, that doesn't hold water because Cromwell never came to us, Killarden. After the procession, the goat is taken on to the bottom stand of the puck fair, where the, the ceremony of the crowning goes on. Now, this is our resident by a young girl chosen to place the crown on the goat's head. But previous to that, just before she did that, in four different languages, in our own Gaelic, English, German and French, she reads the Royal Proclamation. This is a short speech that's being read by girls who are grandmothers now today, and mothers and their daughters and granddaughters probably are doing it. And this is the speech. Noble friends, we are gathered here once more to celebrate an ancient and cherished tradition handed down to us from our forefathers and from their forefathers before them. A tradition without like or equal in the world today. It is a time of renewing old and dear friendships and making new ones. I offer you for the next three days the sincere welcome of the people and the freedom of the town of Killarland under the patronage of His Majesty King Puck. Killarland plays host to the most assorted selection of humanity that come into any town. We have artists and aristocrats and we have alcoholics. They rub shoulders with buskers and valid makers and banjo pluckers. Colleen's looking for sweethearts, cameramen and conmen. They're all lumped together in one glorious uh, revelry at the three days of Pug Fair. We get the left off from the Galway races and the hangover from the Munster final and the once over the United States of America. It is a wonderful collection of people and everybody comes home on holidays in the old days when the seven boys and girls went to service to the big farmers in North Kerry and Limerick, the others had it written to the contract that they were to get the three days of poke off for their holiday.